Ronnie Turcotte, right over here, Ron. Feel a little better than you did two weeks ago. Yes, sure do. Sure do. I know he didn't run his race uh, two weeks ago, and when a horse don't run his race one time, you always have that at the back of your mind. And I just, I wasn't as confident today as I really uh, was all the time because it's just that one thing that you have in the back of your mind, you know? I, also, he, although that he did run, he always done everything I asked of him, and that, I couldn't understand that race. Well, let's take a look at today. We're right on today. We'll start here with the start, Ron. You're in yeah, post position ten. As usual. Well, he breaks with his field, but he draws back. He's last now, and I just drop my hand and let him run his race. When I passed the wire the first turn, the first time around, he started wanted to run, so I just looked for an opening, and he went on, picked him all the way, made a hell of a run down the backside, he, but he was doing it on his own, and uh, ran his race just like I... I'm, like he used to. I'm sure you expected a blazing fast pace there by Angle Light, didn't you? Well, I don't think that. I'm not Angle Light, I'm sorry. Uh, Checky Green. Well, the way they were going down the back side, I'll tell you, I, the way I was mo moving and the way they were running, I didn't think they were going all that fast because I was moving so slow and picking him up so fast, you know? I didn't look at the fraction. I don't know what the fraction were, but uh, I was moving awfully uh, easy down the back side. You knew you set a new uh, Kentucky Derby record, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. You busted that. All right, here we go for the whole race, Ron. Let's take it from the start and go all the way with it. All right, he drove, as usual, he dropped back there, and I just dropped my hand on him and just let him run his own race. When I came, well, I'll pick it up as we go along. You'll see his last right now. I anticipate a little trouble there when I see that horse go on, on the outside, so I didn't want to lose all that kind of ground, and I drop in some. Hartek said, hey, watch out, watch out, because he was out in there. He thought there I might come all the way in. <laughs> And uh, which I wasn't anyway, but when that horse ducked out there, I took advantage of that. Uh, see, well, you see that horse duck out. See that horse duck out. That's right what there, I'm yeah. yeah. Round the turn. Lucian Lawrence with us now. This is the rerun, Lucian. Okay, now you're moving a little bit. Yes. Well, when he, when uh, I ease on up there, uh, he picked it up on his own. So I figure, well, um, I don't want to stop him now, so I'll lose the ground. I'll. Uh, I know that I might have to lose ground both turns, but I. So, uh, heck, uh, I might as well take the chance because that he's running easy now, and he wants to run, and I don't want to stop him. All right, Shecky Green's still in the lead, and there goes Sham after Shecky Green right now, and now you start to move, I believe, very shortly. Yes, uh, he moved awful fast on the backside and awful easy. Okay, you got uh, Shecky Green there and, uh, and Sham. And in a moment, the blue and white blocks will yeah, come I'm into view. Here, at this moment, you can't see me on, on TV there, but I'm fifth. There see, you, uh, you, you see his head there. Now he's really going, huh? Yes. Yes, I never uh, asked him to run. I, yeah. I'm letting him run now, but I'm not asking him. I could see uh, Lafitte was going very easy in front of me. He was, oh, you know, he was saving he was, his horse. Yes, huh? and he was very going very easy. When I came to him, uh, right there, I swung, swung kind of wise. Make sure that if he does uh, uh, get in, which uh, everybody says he was lugging in bad down the down the stretch at uh, at Aqueduct, well, I made sure that he, I had room to work with him. Well, here's where you went in, where derbies are usually won in this stretch, and you really put Sham away here. Looking back there, aren't you? Yes, well, I thought I didn't, couldn't see any challenge there, and I thought uh, he was going on. He was running real uh, good. Yes, sir. Lucian Lawrence, turn around here. I want you to see a happy man, finally. How do you feel now? Huh? <laughs> feel very, very All good. Right. We want to talk to you in a little minute after the presentation, Lucian. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Churchill Downs, Mr. Lynn Stone. Thank you very much. Welcome again to Churchill Downs. It's my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Wendell Ford, Governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Thank you, Mr. Stone. Very shortly, it was a typical, beautiful Kentucky day. It was a beautiful horse, a beautiful time, and I present a beautiful trophy to a beautiful lady. All right, the uh, prices here, uh, as you can see, secretary at five dollars, three twenty, and three dollars. Sham is playing three twenty and three dollars, and the third horse, Arneva, playing four twenty. 
And there's the big news, really, 159 and two, which is the new Derby record here established by Secretariat today. Which can't help but make all those people you're looking at very happy. All right, Governor Ford here talking with Ron Turcotte. Now, Mrs. Tweedy, could we have a word with you here you for a moment? Sure could. Uh, how do you feel? <laughs> oh, boy, I feel marvelous. That was just so wonderful. Well, he certainly answered all the critics today, would you say? Yeah, that's one bold ruler that can go a distance. That's right. Bold ruler myth is kind of uh, has a little gap in it right now. And I'm sure all those syndicate owners feel a little better. Got a lot of happy co-owners. They were all saying, go, go, go. <laughs> well, I don't suppose we've ever seen uh, uh, pressure uh, on a trainer as much. We haven't seen much of you this week, but I know Lucian here carrying all that weight around with him. How was it for you since the wood? Well, it's been tough. We've been worried, but I had faith in Lucian, and Ronnie rode a beautiful race. My, he did. And... Lucian has had to bear all, all the, the trouble this week, and he's done it marvelously. And I've tried to stay in the background and keep the, their morale up, and it all worked out. Well, it was a marvelous race, and I suppose if he comes out well, and here he is, going back to the barn, he looks pretty good, doesn't he? Oh, he looks marvelous, yeah. He, he knew he'd been out, though, I tell you. He was, that was no casual gallop. He was, and he didn't like the roses. Not too much, <laughs> did he? He got a little fractious with that, huh? He had enough left to, to buck and say, get those things off me, so. Well, Mrs. Tweedy, congratulations, and uh, we're delighted, and we'll see you up at Pimlico, right? We'll be there. Yeah. All, right. All right. Thank you. There is the order of finish now. Secretary at first, Sham second, and our native, who was a gallant to be third after all that trouble in the gate, followed by Forgo, Restless Jet, Shecky Green, Navajo, Royal and Riggle, My Gallant, Angolite, Gold Bag, Twice a Prince, and last was Warbucks. So, Lucian, I wonder if we might, trying to get Lucian Lauren here to tell us about the week that was. <laughs> Lucian, come over. Well, now I want to ask you about Secretariat's knee. How is it? Well, I think his knee's very good. I would say so. Lucian, we've been talking, it's been a tremendously difficult time for you. Uh, I guess having a great horse, secondly, after the syndication, and then after the wood, when all the rumors started, uh, you must feel a lot relieved now. I certainly am, because I've never heard so much, so many rumors in all my life, Jack. Even today, as I come to the racetrack, so it's come up to me, one of the men who run the horse, and he says, geez, I'm so sorry for you. I said, well, what do you mean you're sorry for me? He says, I heard you, you scratched Secretariat. I said, since when? I just went from the barn. I said, but you know, I was, I've been on the pressure all the time, and everybody's telling me, well, he's a bull roller. Let's see if he can go a mile and a quarter, and then, well, by God, he certainly done a good job, didn't he? He certainly did. Now, Mrs. Tweedy said it wasn't just an easy romp. That was very tough. A record time, but beat a good horse, and was well extended. Uh, he came out. He looks all right. You won't know, I know, until you check him. But uh, can he freshen up by the, the Preakness? Oh, I would think so. I think he'll be very good by the time come to Preakness. I just hope we go there this time and win it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this man this week? He missed the workout in a traffic jam one day. One of his horses was rumored to have a bad knee. The other one was sold on him, and the other one, and then it had a bloody nose. Well, everything's over. Congratulations, Lucian. Thank good. You very much. All, right. Thank you. all right, let's see what happened to the horses that didn't win. But before we do that, let's go to Frank Wright. We're here at the detention barn where Sham has just finished his bath, the horse that finished second. He's already had his saliva test. Right at the gate of the detention barn, uh, the doctor and his attendants come and take the saliva test. Then the horse is allowed to be washed off. He'll have to be cooled out for some period of time here, and then the state veterinarian will secure a urine test. This procedure is followed on all four of the first finishers. The winner secretariat has just come in here. They'll remove his bridle and follow the same procedure they have with Sham. And every precaution is taken here at the detention barn. Thank you, Frank. Again, the price is here. Secretary paying $5.320 and $3. Sham paying $3.20 and $3. And our native paying $4.20.
Now, don't forget, two weeks from today, we have the Preakness at Baltimore at Pimlico. And we want you all to come along to see if Secretariat can knock down the second jewel in this triple crown. Our producer today has been Chuck Milton, our director, Tony Verna. We'd like to thank Lynn Stone, Bob Gorham, Ray Johnson, and Stanley Eugenberg of Churchill Downs for the fine hospitality extended to CBS. And a special thanks goes to Joe Hirsch from the Daily Racing Forum. Remember, join us for the Preakness. That's two weeks from today on May 19th from Pimlico. This is Jack Whitaker speaking for Haywood Hale Brun, Chick Anderson, and Frank Wright saying goodbye from Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky.